One of the really cool things about the 2022 Samsung TVs is that they have smart calibration built in. Today we're going to show you how to do it. It's really easy and it's something you should definitely do for all your clients. Now, the TVs all come with modes you're familiar with, dynamic, which is very blown out, meant to look good on a retail floor, standard, which is a little bit more toned down, a little bit more accurate color, but still um, much more blown out than it really should be for watching a movie accurately. And then you've got two modes in here, Movie and Filmmaker, out of the box, both of which look almost identical. The mode that we get to calibrate is the Movie mode, and it's really easy to do. Let me just get out of that. I just take my SmartThings app, and uh, once I've added the device to my SmartThings app, which I did already, you can see my Frame TV is right here, so I click on that. And I get a menu of things I can do. I can control the TV. I can play around with art mode. And then I can also click here to start smart calibration. And once I start that, there it is. The TV is ready for measurements. Now, of course, we have to turn the lights off to get accurate measurements. So let me do that. Get my TV in front, line it up, and hit the start button and let it take the measurements. Well, that was pretty fast. You can see it brings up a test screen and I can switch back and forth between uncalibrated and calibrated. And I can see the uncalibrated is a little bit greener. The calibrated looks a little bit deeper in color. But let me hit done and see what it looks like on my original test image from my Muridio test generator. Now if I look at that and I switch back and forth between the picture modes. You'll see movie mode there is calibrated and filmmaker mode, um, I can see the difference of filmmaker mode's a little bit greener, not as deeper. You know, uh, flesh tones look a little bit more accurate in calibrated mode. And we've actually taken our calibration equipment and taken measurements of what the calibration mode has done and it does a really good job. The only thing that we would like to do um, is it, it does really pull down the detail a little bit, softens the image a, a little bit more than we would like. So um, we like to go in and take the sharpness and turn that up to about 10 just to give it a little bit more detail. And then the other thing we like to do is go into the uh, picture clarity settings, which um, it is turned off for accuracy, but when you're watching movies at 24 frames a second, which a lot of movies are, in um, we found that the, the auto is a little bit over the top. Um, it adds some artifacts, but the custom does a really nice job with the judder reduction down at 3 uh, of making motion look really good. And um, there you have it. It's calibrated. Very easy to do, and uh, you should do this for all your clients.